some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the, uh, well, failed cop watch by uh, Manuel Amata and uh, Carolina Fort Worth in which, well, Manuel Amata ends up getting arrested for his troubles. And you have Carolina Fort Worth lying once again about a uh, Supreme ca Court case law. I mean, what else is new? These frauditors lie about everything that they encounter. But hey, it's fun to pick apart the lies. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't stop on no bridge. Just keep going. We got pulled over right now. Because I had an accident here. Because I stopped. Good evening. I'm Officer Massey, Fort Worth Police. What's your name? 46853 and a stop user driving without any lights on. You have a driver's license on you? You sure? Because yeah. my. Are you sure I don't have any lights on? Oh, I didn't have my lights on. Do you on. have a driver's license, please? Um, I have it in the back. Do you want me to reach for it? Officer Massey, badge number. That's fine. Do you have a proof of insurance? Yeah, I have proof of insurance. No, I don't okay. have proof of insurance with me. Do you have to... your proof of insurance, please? I don't think I have proof of insurance. Note, this is an unlawful traffic stop. I was not driving with my lights off because it's impossible to drive with your lights off in a Dodge Charger. I've researched it in the past to be able to drive like stealth and sneak up on these guys before. It's impossible to drive with your lights off in a Dodge Charger. You know, I'm going to have to call bullshit on this one because police vehicles of this manner right here, especially with the Dodge Charger, apparently do have a stealth mode uh, built into them, and that's the police model. Now, if you are nefarious enough, and uh, you and Manuel are apparently are uh, like that. You can easily uh, get a hold of one of these uh, stealth mode uh, setups and uh, install it in your own Dodge Charger, and you should be good to go. So don't tell me that uh, it's impossible. And an electrician, a skilled electrician, could probably do it with his eyes uh, closed. So either you have not talked to an electrician or you have not bothered looking into, uh, well, what the police use. So either way, it makes your research skills look like, well, they are pretty piss poor to begin with. And besides, I'm not even going to get into the safety hazard of you baiting cops with your headlights turned off, trying to uh, get them to uh, pull you over that in that fashion so you can create a confrontation. I mean, that's just dangerous for everybody on the road. <laughs> They must have messed with them at the, at the mechanics. Ah, sorry. You're shining the light on your thing. I know, because he's a scumbag. Well, we got your name now, pussy, didn't we? <laughs> got your name now, didn't we, bitch? You suck. Dick eater, mother. Pussy. Turn your flashlight off, bitch. She ain't got nothing in here, you scared. Okay. Coward, bitch. And this delightful little fellow known as Manuel Mata, the one with the colorful mouth and only enough common sense to fill a thimble because, you know, dude, this is nighttime and the officer needs to flash his light around there to see what's inside. And, I mean... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what you think at this, uh, traffic stop because the officer has a job to do in issuing citations for the, uh, traffic offense that took place, but, uh, you and Caroline are going to exacerbate the situation anyway to the point of an arrest. I mean, was this really necessary, dude? You run your mouth way too much and you get arrested for your trouble. Now put it on the window. Put it right here. Okay. 
Kim. Put it right there. Okay. No, it pres it pre presented it to you. Yep. You're interfering my Shut up, bitch. Shut up. I'm gonna can I reach in here and see if my right. Can I reach in here? No. Nope. Can I reach in here and see it if said my the, insurance the, is here? Tell, tell him it says you presented it to Can I reach in here? Can I reach in here and look for my insurance? Tell no, I just you. have to present it to you. So that's right there. Ah. Uh, that's the law. Yep. I you should know it, don't you? Go get your pen and your paper. Don't you know the law, sir? See, this is what's happened when you're an asshole and a tyrant. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! I don't have any insurance. Go, go, get, write, write the information down. That's what you asked for. She presented it to you. You got a pen? I'm and I'm not interfering. I'm in the car, stupid ass. No, I don't have my insurance card with me. You can look it up, though. Tell him to call the supervisor if he doesn't want to do that. Do you have proof of insurance, ma'am? I don't have proof of insurance with me. I'm sorry? I don't have it with me. You don't have it with you. Can you hand me your driver's license? Please? No, I'm supposed to just present it, so there you go. Can you hand it to me, please? No, sir. That I'm... way I can take it back and run your information and we can get done with this traffic. Nope. Safely. Nope. Yes, yeah, just have to present it to you. I don't have to hand it to you. Can you hand me your driver's license, please? No, why do I have to? Tell him call his supervisor. Yeah, just can you get it off there? Why do you need my Why do you need my license for? When you can do see right there. I'm can't... sorry, it's difficult to hear you through the crack. I said, I said, can't you just? I'm, it's still difficult to hear you. I said. Do you mind rolling the window down so we can have an intelligent conversation? Was it? So it makes you smarter if you turn to roll the window down? Yeah, because we don't have to listen to each other whisper. Wow. So it's intelligent. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's my driver's license. All you gotta do is copy the information now. Yep. I can tell you. Wow, talk about uh, taking the Fourth Amendment to its extreme right here, Carolina. I mean, do you do realize that uh, that driver's license you're pressing against the uh, window right there is not your personal property? Is It is issued to you by the government, therefore is government property. So, yeah, you've got to give the license to the, the officer so we can make sure it's not fraudulent to begin with because you know there are people out there that do have fraudulent driver's licenses because they're scumbags like you so it's simply a matter of procedure to make sure that everything is kosher but uh you lack that kind of the common sense don't you everything that's on there i'm sorry i can tell you everything that's on there zero eight three one three two one zero is the number you're making this harder on yourself sir Write it down. That's what it's for. You can shine your light at me all you want. What's your name and badge number, sir? Since I'm part of the investigation now. <laughs> what's your name and badge number? Oh. For what? Can I have the insurance with me? No, that's not how it goes. I handed you the key so you could open the door And it's the same ones that we just talked shit to. Call your supervisor. Tell me. I want to speak to your manager. Call the supervisor. Give me just a second, be right back. Well, it's probably for it, so. <laughs> you know they must mess with my lights over there. Look, they got a car. I am in the car. I am in the car, sir. The door's just open. No, I'm in the car. Yeah, sure. The door magically opened by itself and you're now standing outside because the door told you to get out, huh? You know, that door is about to get you arrested. Uh, so therefore, I probably never trust that door again. In fact, I do believe that door wanted to get you arrested because it's one of the bootlickers out there. So you might want to get it replaced with one that is a criminal scumbag. Step out of the car. No, I don't want to. Step out of the car. For what, sir? Step out of the car. Well, Manuel, apparently you are now part of this investigation, seeing as how you interjected yourself and started interacting with the cops and everything like that. Uh, so therefore, Pennsylvania versus Mims takes effect, and uh, the police officer can uh, request that you get out of the car, and if you do not do so, there will be consequences for your uh, 
actions at this point. So, yeah, Manuel, you just won the stupid prize. Or you're about to anyway. For what? Step out of the car. You're detained until I'm done with my traffic stop. Okay. okay. Come here, hold my phone. Sir, can you please not stop being violent? Call your supervisor. Since y'all gonna fuck with me and retaliate, you call your supervisor. You got any weapons? I don't ask you questions. Him. Fuck you. Stop grabbing my dick, dude. Man. That's fucking gay, bro. Step back here. What am I being detained for? For what? I'm not sitting on no curb. No, I'm not. I, what law is that? There's no law for that. Tell me what law is this now. Sit down on the ground. Hey! This traffic ship is taking a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Oh, boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Well, Carolina, maybe you should have invested in a. Uh... The, uh, LIA's uh, attorney shield and then you would have been out of here with only a traffic ticket because those pseudo lawyers on there would have guided you in the right direction at least unlike Manuel Mata who had to be a uh, constitutional law scholar like Chile and uh, lead you down the wrong path but now due to his smart mouth and uh, ability to interject himself into a uh, situation that uh well, he shouldn't have been too concerned with. He is now getting himself arrested, which extends the traffic stop. So, deal with it. Oh, they got my ground right there. They got my car. God, who the hell cares? You're in internal affairs involved. I heard you feeling. Come on, man. I already, I already experienced all this. That's why I laugh at it now. What you said was even the first Oh, I know that. That is watered down, homie. That's what I'm saying. Y'all catching the watered down version of myself. The past year is completely different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't. This was funny. I'm not tripping. Look, I'll be right there in the morning. Right here. They know me perfect, homie. I know they know me. Come on, dog. They all know me. It's weird. Then why am I in the fight, bro? And why is he still in handcuffs? <laughs> it's weird, man. And y'all are on live right now. Y'all are on YouTube live. Where do you have people drive by? 
Okay, so just because uh, you're on a live stream, that means that the police officers have to drop everything that they're doing and uh, let Manuel go? Uh, no, uh, that doesn't uh, hold water. I mean, the officers are performing a duty, one which they have to see out to the end. In other words, they've got the Manuel detained for now, and, uh, well, he could possibly be charged with interference and interference is not just a physical act look it up that's a common fraud or misnomer right there or uh, just outright bullshit that they try to uh, say on uh, their videos because they know their audience will buy into every bit of it but uh, yeah so uh, just because you're on a live stream doesn't mean that you hold all the cards that's just a flat out dumbass thing to say anyway I'm on YouTube live right now I'm the viewers uh, that, that's irrelevant bro I can have y'all at past the time to listen I was curious but it don't matter is it still, is it still muted? I'll check again, John D. Nicola. <laughs> okay, I think it's unmuted now. Are we unmuted? I think we're unmuted. Okay. This is, hey, this is, uh, it's been longer than 20 minutes. I got nothing better than you. Hey, it's been longer than 20 minutes. Shut up. I don't want to fucking talk to you. You weren't supposed to be the whole time. Okay. So no, his, I guess he's got muted whenever the cops grabbed him. Oh, grabbed him out of the, they grabbed him out of the car and said like said that he was uh, detained yeah, for retaliation. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? I really doubt that the officers would say that. I mean, uh, you can piss on my leg and tell me it's raining, but I have eyes, you know, and I have ears. So I can take a look at what the officers said and know that you're a freaking liar. You're an asshole. I'm cool. You know what I call that? Being disrespectful to That's what I call it. And they train you to do it. You are experts at it. We got trained to be disrespectful, yeah. right? Yes! yes. You're an asshole, Patrick. I know the difference. There's a good one right here. You're a piece of shit. Apologize, man. No, you don't have to apologize. It's your nature. It's your habit. You it's can't You can't deny that. You can't change it. It's just who you are. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said fuck you. Why is it taking so long to write my tickets? I don't want to touch you. You're a scumbag. I know it's you don't want to go to the hospital? Nah. Right. You want to get checked out? Yeah. We, uh, you should be getting in a couple minutes. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. If, it, if it's going to be, hold hold this up longer than the fucking. Why is, why are you in cuffs? I don't know if you're talking about veins or fucking out, bro. Hey, why are you in cuffs? He said I was being detained, but he didn't tell me. For what? You have to have reason or take up a suspicion of a crime to be detained. You know, you frauditors are so damn thick-headed that even if somebody told you th a thousand times uh, what the RAS was, you would still ask, what's the reasonable articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? Even though they just told you 10,000 times. I mean, good freaking grief. At this point, he is being detained because he interfered with the investigation. I mean, he was telling you what to do as if he's some sort of a law scholar and trying to tell the officer what to do implying that he knew the officer's job better than he does I mean he was just acting like a complete asshole throughout this whole thing and therefore uh, well as a result he got detained and and you're gonna have to wait on the uh, traffic ticket Miss Pris. What's the RAS? Yeah he didn't tell me that. What's the RAS for being detained? No, he said I was detained on the traffic stop. He said I, what? I, uh, <laughs> I scared him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> officer he, safety. No, tragic. Did you call your supervisor, loser? What? Please say no. What is it? Something versus I mean, Sims? Sim, what's, what's the thing for pulling somebody out of the car? Yeah, Sims versus Pennsylvania, ver Pennsylvania versus Sims? That would be Pennsylvania versus Mims, dumbass. And it doesn't exactly uh, side with you in this particular occasion. So... Uh, yeah, you failed to do your research once again. I mean, typical frauditor. Oh, but Brady put you in handcuffs. Even supervisors. Pennsylvania versus Sims. 
the jail. For what? Oh, good luck with that. For what? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yeah. What's he? Your phone number to put on the ticket, please. What's he under arrest for? Interference public duties. Can I get Wait your phone number? Wait a second. Number? How can he do that? Can I get your phone number, please? I don't have a phone number. You don't have a phone? Can you want my email? What were you filming with, with earlier? Well, it's not, it's not hooked up. It's I'm, just, I'm it's sorry? It's just a camera. It's just a camera. Oh, okay, that's fine. What, um... So you're going to get three citations, one for driving without headlights, one mm -hmm. for driving without taillights, and one for not being able to provide your information. Now, the headlights and the taillights are the same, aren't they? Aren't they? It's two different offenses in my ticket book. Oh, so okay. You can take the uh, you can take a copy of your insurance up to the uh, courthouse mm -hmm. and get that that ticket dismissed right. if you do have insurance. Okay. So wait a minute. You can't arrest somebody for for sitting in. You guys pulled him out for Pennsylvania versus Sims. You didn't have reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. Well, he's a big dummy. I mean, you're misquoting Pennsylvania versus Mims, which is a actual Supreme Court case that doesn't exactly support what you're saying right now. I mean, that one pretty much states that the officer can remove people from the vehicle or at the very least request them to be moved, removed from the vehicle. So why are you quoting a case law that doesn't exactly, uh, well, help your cause to begin with? Well, I think I understand why you do that because, well, you don't actually research any of these cases at all. You just spout off everything that you think will, uh, uh stick to the wall and, uh, Hope for the best. Isn't that right, dumbass? But you need to actually go out and do your research. Otherwise, uh, well, you're going to be in more trouble in the future. But I know you don't care about that, do you? In fact, that'll get you more clicks and views on YouTube, right? He pulled him out. Okay, here's your copy of the citation. Are you listening to me? Instructions on the inside. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a Would crime. You have to sign it? Oh. Ma'am, would you like to sign it? I have to ticket? sign it, right? What do you mean? Well, see, that's a trick. Because if I don't sign it, you're taking no, me to jail. No, no. I'm, I'm asking you because I already tore if it I out. If I don't sign it, are you taking me to jail? No, ma'am. Listen, here. So what's going on? Yeah. I already tore it out without asking you to sign it. So I'm asking you if you would like me to put it back in so you can sign it. Yeah. If, you, if you don't want to sign, sign it, that's it. fine. So you don't, you don't want to sign? I'm sorry. You don't have to put it back in. Okay. Now. All right. Here's sorry. your copy of the ticket. There's instructions on how to. I know how to do pay. That. You have 21 sir, days to get sir, it paid. Okay. You sure you want to do this because there's no interference right here? You're free to go. There's no interference right here, though, dude. There's no interference. Yeah. This is his uh, cigarette. Yeah, he's hold on to these, okay? Yeah. Lighter. Does he huh? need the phone? Huh? Does he need he's, the phone? I think he said How he 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 Why is he being arrested for interference if he didn't even get out of the car? That's going to be that officer. Ah! Yeah. Oh! Did you do you want, does he want his phone? No. Uh, yeah, you, this is bad. What's he's going to get sued, huh? What's his first name again? Manuel. Huh? Manuel. Yeah, Manuel. Hey, boss. That's not what Manuel Hey, boss. Hey, you. You have no reasonable or articulable suspicion of a crime! You, keep your you better. You can keep her phone. Alright. Okay, so they arrested him for. I don't know. They just took him out of the car and arrested him. That's not smart. That's not good. And that's where the video ends, everybody. I mean, uh, well, Carolina Fort Worth just proves once again that she is not very good at this frauding thing, considering that. Her uh, knowledge of the law, knowledge of the uh, case laws, in fact, is pretty piss poor at best. I mean, Pennsylvania versus Sims or something like that. Yeah, and she claimed that it was on her side, uh, that the officers couldn't do what they were doing. Yeah, uh, dummy, uh, that's not, that's far from what the actual Pennsylvania versus Mims case says. So you might want to actually do your research on that stuff instead of listening to dumb other dumbasses like Manuel Mata who are just leading you down the wrong path. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. Third Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what, what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, 
uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. That's no, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? You. you know you are not to be on campus. You no. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys. You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.